Wow, this is amazing. Check out the speed difference. Mixtral running on Grok and ChatGPT4. Same prompt. Can you write a comprehensive article about mental models? Sending the prompt. Sending the prompt. That's it, it's already ready over here. Rock has completed and GPT-4 is still returning the output. Let's do another one in the meantime. Can you write a Python snake game for me? Let's, this is still writing, GPT-4 is still writing. Let's pause this, move to 3.5, which is way faster. Let's see the speed difference. Check this out, already finished. And this is the token per seconds. So guys, this is Grok, a short video about Grok, which is an exciting, a very exciting new platform for inference. And let me show you the website and what they claim. Grok is on a mission to set standard for generative AI inference speed, helping real-time AI applications come to life. Basically what this company did, let me close this. They built an LPU and I'm making the fonts bigger because this was the feedback from one of the recent videos that the fonts were too small. So an LPU inference engine with LPU standing for language processing unit is a new type of end-to-end -end processing Unix system that provides the fastest inference for computationally intensive applications with sequential component to them, such as AI language applications. Long story short, LPU is a new technology for that is was built specifically for LLMs, and this is this provides way faster inference than all the alternatives that we currently have. In the test that I've showed you, although I didn't compare apples to apples because Grok was running on the Mixal model, and on the other part of the screen we had a ChatGPT4, so not the same models, but still you saw a huge significant, uh, a major significant change in the speed. Now they elaborate why they are faster. So the LPU is designed to overcome the two LLM bottlenecks, compute density and memory bandwidth. An LPU has greater compute capacity than a GPU, like we most of us have, and CPU in regards to LLMs. This reduces the amount of time per word calculated, allowing sequence of text to be generated much faster. Additionally, eliminating external memory bottlenecks enables the LPU inference engine to deliver orders of magnitude better performance on LLMs compared to GPUs. Now let me show you something interesting that I saw. And this is a comparison. Um, this is a LLM perf leaderboard, basically they compare between different inference um, services. So what they did here is that they are explaining how they compare the inference speed. So for each provider, they perform the total number of 150 requests, five concurrent requests to the provider, and they have the same token length, which is 550, and the same expected output length, and they test it on different models. And take a look over here, the difference between Grok and all the other competitors in the space, people that are providing, uh, like services that are providing inference, so perplexity, replicate, together AI, any scale, you can see here Grok is 18 times faster <coughs> than all the alternatives. And here you can see like the numbers. And this is why <coughs> is this so exciting? Because basically when the inference is so fast, we can do a lot of new things that 
we couldn't do with the slower inference because every delay of millisecond made a huge difference. So for example, here are just a few use cases, but this is like the most obvious and most common. So for real-time language translation and transcription, we don't have to wait because let's say we use GPT-4, which is awesome with regards to the quality of the output, but is it is pretty slow. So let's say we use an AI voice bot to hold a conversation for cold calling, for example. So the millisecond, the few milliseconds that it takes to receive the input and to generate the output make it uh, makes the conversation seem unreal. So in opposing to this, when we use LMUs, which as you saw, are so much faster, this is going to streamline the process and make it faster and make it feel more unique or not generated by AI. So basically for real-time translation or transcriptions, delays can disrupt the flow of conversation leading to misunderstandings or poor user experience. So this is one example. There were a few more examples. So for example, automated emergency systems, such as those in vehicles or critical infrastructure, a second can be the difference between preventing an accident and failing to react in time. So this is also a very interesting use case. So also when it comes to trading, arbitrage, sometimes uh, in arbitrage and trades, one second makes a huge difference. So this is why when we can use LMUs, which are way faster, this can be significant. And obviously it depends on what you're doing, but in general, this feels like a huge leap forward because as you saw, the output is so much faster. Now let's go back to the to the website, a few more explanations. So yeah, they say that Grok has demonstrated 18 times faster LLM inference performance on any scale, uh, LLM perf leaderboard, which I, saw, I showed you uh, a moment before. Um, they also published a few researches about this about the technology. I'm going to share the links in the description. I'm not going to go over them, but let's share them in the description. Now let's discuss how we can get um, access to Grok. This is the most interesting part. So the pricing and access, which I had somewhere right here, but let's, okay. So here it is, API access. Grok is, Grok is offering API access for approved members to access the world's fastest inference speed for open source LLMs. So basically at the moment they are offering access to Llama 70 billion, Llama 2 70 billion, which was created by eight, uh, Meta. And later on they will also share access to Mixtral, um, but they don't have it at the moment. It, it's available upon request. And basically, with regards to the pricing, also the pricing seems very good and cheaper than, alternate, than the current alternative. So for example, let's say we are using Mixtral, which can also we can also buy via the Mixtral website. It's going to, to cost 0 0.27 bucks for, one, uh, for 40, uh, 480 tokens. Um, input or uh, like this is the current speed sorry this is the current speed so 480 tokens per second which is crazy and the price per 1 million tokens input or output is going to be 27 cents while in Mixtral you can see the, the huge differences so it's going to be depending on the model that you're using but let's say you're using the small model it's going to cost 60 cents is 60 euro cents or almost two euros for the output and over here we said 27 cents for input or output so this is also much more affordable and way faster this is very exciting because for a while we didn't see any i mean i didn't see maybe it's not because maybe i'm not that interested in the space of the hardware uh, or inference speed because this is not something that I'm really doubling like I'm not so concerned about the current speed because my use cases don't require crazy fast inference speed 
but still this is very exciting because it's a huge leap forward with regards to the speed because you saw it's 18x and i believe that if the hardware is going to become better we will also see derivatives of better uh, software and better applications and it's just exciting to see something that is dedicated to llms and it's going to improve also make the whole game more affordable and also it's going to make everything way faster i i guess that's it for today just a short video uh it's not exactly um in the landscape of what i'm usually covering i try to focus on agents and automations related to marketing and sales and um, using robotic process automations cool ai autogen stuff like this but this is so exciting and i felt the urge to share this with uh, you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want you can already come here to grok and start messing around with it you currently have Mixtal or Llama. You can just play around, see uh, the speed, and obviously you can join the waiting list for getting API access. And we'll keep an eye over this uh, project, how it evolves. The people who built the project are pretty serious. They are not uh, newbies. They are. It's a. It seems like a very powerful and skilled team. So very exciting. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comment section. I love feedback. I optimize the videos based on your feedback. So I appreciate any feedback, good or bad. And until next time, keep on automating.